The fear that cancer will recur or spread is one of the most common issues that people who have survived a cancer diagnosis um, report wanting help with. Um, and of course it's completely normal for someone diagnosed with um, cancer which um, threatens life um, to have fears of cancer occurrence and progression. But it becomes a problem when it um, is at the higher levels, when people uh, are really bothered by intrusive thoughts about the cancer coming back um, to the extent that uh, they can't plan for the future because they're worried about um, the cancer occurring, um, experience a lot of distress, um, and tend to either uh, seek excessive attention from medical professionals seeking reassurance that the cancer hasn't come back or avoid follow-up because of um, the peak of anxiety that they have at that time. So it has, uh, it's a problem for the patient, it's a problem for the family and it's also a problem for the health system. So it is something that we really need to pay attention to and um, support patients in better managing those fears. You know, I think all health professionals can uh, have a role in supporting patients. Um, certainly at the end of treatment, oncologists can just warn people that they're likely to experience um, some fears and concerns, that's normal, um, but that if it really starts to bother them, that there's help available. Um, and I think that giving people accurate information about their prognosis and the likelihood of recurrence or progression is also helpful because people often uh, think worse than reality. Um, for people who do develop high fear of cancer occurrence, they may need support from psychologists or psychiatrists. Um, and there are some very good interventions that have been proven to be effective to support people in better managing fear of cancer progression. And these are um, based on um, an understanding that these fears develop um, in particular, if uh, you have symptoms and signs that you internally monitor and are constantly looking for signs of recurrence, and uh, if you think that worry is going to help you by keeping you vigilant, which um, supports people in continuing to worry a lot. Um, so there's methods that can challenge those beliefs and support people in being aware of those worries but not reacting to them. So there is um, quite a lot of material online um, with suggestions for how people can manage these fears. Um, you, you can't take away those fears because the risk of relapse and, and uh, of cancer spreading or progressing is a real risk. Um, but what we can help people to do is to live with those um, we live with that uncertainty and live with that risk and get on with their lives in, the, in a way that um, is uh, meaningful to them. Um, and that's the goal of most therapies. So there's material online to support people in managing that, um, but also if they talk to their treatment team, uh, their treatment team can probably refer them to someone um, who will be able to help them with these fears.